Hey guys, Caleb with Black Pearl Media, and if this is your first time to the channel, I do a lot of automotive videography. I'm kind of new at it, so I'm taking you through my journey, and I'm covering some of the gear I use to capture it. So on today's episode on Side Hustle Saturday, how did I get this lens, this $1,100 lens for free? So in this kind of a video, I think I'm gonna start calling these, uh, I don't know, maybe Side Hustle Saturdays or something like that. But I wanna show you what I do to get the kind of gear that I want for free or for a significantly discounted rate and anybody can do it. This is a Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter lens. This thing is an absolute beefcake. Matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna call it, the beefcake. This thing is just a solid, solid, solid lens. The quality's immaculate, beautiful condition. And like I said, this retails for about $1,000 to $1,100, and I got this for free. Matter of fact, I got it for free plus about $400. So, how did I do that? Let's get into it. Mm, so good. So I actually bought this lens in a kit, a full loadout, and it came with a lot of gear. Now, it did cost me a lot of money. I spent $2,500 on a whole bunch of camera equipment, um, but there was a lot of really quality stuff, lenses, cameras, uh, odds and ends. That light back there, it came in there, so I got that for free as well. So. 2,500 bucks, this guy on a local listing on Craigslist um, had a whole bunch for sale, it was his uncle's, he was a photographer or something like that, and he had some Canon cameras, He's, he had some nice lenses including um, the legendary 70 to 200, you might be asking why I didn't keep that one, I'll get, I'll get to that, I'll, I'll loop around to that. But I really enjoy Sigma Glass. I think it's super, super quality. The lenses themselves are super robust, and I've got a thir I'm sorry, an 18 to 35. That's like my main bread and butter. I use it all the time. It's got a great focal length, um, very crispy images, and uh, I'm very happy with it. So I would love to build up my Sigma Glass collection. Now, when I saw that there was a Sigma lens in the kit, a 24 to 70, I wasn't that excited because I was really hoping to go for the 50 to 100. Um, they have a 50 to 100 option and that would help kind of fill that gap. So I would have the 18 to 35 mil and then I would have a 50 all the way up to 100 mil. But uh, once I got a look at this lens and I actually did do a shoot with it the other day, it was amazing. It's a little bit better balanced on the uh, the gimbal that I have because as you can see it's a little bit stubbier. It's a beefcake man, I'm telling you. So it compacts the package a little bit, it helps it balance. Um, the 35, the 18 to 35 is a little bit longer. Matter of fact, let me go get it really quick. Uh, okay, so this is the 18 to 35, this is the 24 to 50. Now you can see there's quite a, a big length difference here, um, but this one is definitely a little bit beefier. They weigh about the same. I would say this one weighs a little bit more, but uh, excellent. So I really wanted to stock up on my Sigma glass and start to build a kit of Sigma to start with. I think, I think they're great, fantastic lenses. So originally I wanted to do the 50 to 100, but I'm gonna keep this 24 to 70, and I'll tell you why. I feel like I'm getting really off track here and I apologize for that. I'll see if I can fix this in editing. I probably can. Right. So, what I did was I paid this guy $2,500 for a whole mess of camera gear, lenses, everything, and he wanted $3,500 for everything. So, what I like to do is I went on eBay and I made a list of every item and I said, okay, so if I get this camera, I should be able to sell it between $350 and $400. So, I just would put $350. And I made a list and he wanted $3,500 and it came out to about the same, uh, you know, maybe a little bit less than what I could have gotten. Um, but I decided to, you know, hit him up and say, hey, look, I'll throw you an offer for the whole bundle. Um, I can come by, I'm local, and I can pick it up for him. Um, now, buying cars and re reselling cars and buying, you know, 
uh, electronics or lenses are two very different things because with cars you can go and look under the hood and you can be like, all right, well, there's an oil leak. Let's take off 500 bucks for that. Um, you know, the tires look like they're trash. Let's take off some money for that. With cameras and lenses and stuff, a lot of the times the values don't drop that hard unless there's a brand new model that just came out. And even then, the old models still keep a lot of their value and not a lot of things decrease their value. So, um, like I said, this is an $1,100 lens new. Used, it's probably about between $950 and $1,000. So it barely loses any value, even if it's a little bit older. So. It was a very tricky, tricky thing to get somebody down and negotiate when it comes to lenses and cameras and things like that. Um, when I have a, a camera and lens package that are about $700, I was looking to you know purchase and I offered the guy $600 and he said no. And that's totally fine. You can't get discouraged by that. It's their product. They can do whatever they want with it. Um, so I offered him $2,200 for the package. And the way you ask and you lowball somebody like that, you gotta do it respectfully. And if you don't do it respectfully, you know, they're just gonna tell you off and you'll have no chance in haggling. People don't know how to haggle nowadays, especially online when you shoot them a message, they could just easily say, no, uh, thanks for your time, get out of here, and, or just not even respond to you. So what I like to do is when I talk to them, I give them the reasons why, I'll be like, hey, you know what? $2,500 is a lot of money. It really is. It's a lot of money right now. It's a lot of money in the middle of the coronavirus. And when you're buying a whole bunch of items, you know, it's okay to tell them like, hey, look, I'm looking for a group deal. You know, I'm not looking to pay retail on every single item. Otherwise, I would just go out and buy exactly what I want for that retail price. So I was really respectful. I said, hey man, here's what's going on. This is my budget. This is how much I wanna spend. I'm really only interested in a, a few of the pieces in the group, um, but I will do a group buy for you if you'd like to use do it for 22. He respectfully declined, which I told him, I was like, hey, I won't be offended if you decline it, that's fine. And he made me a counter offer of like 2,800 or something. We ran, and we eventually settled at $2,500. So here I am, I've got a bag full of gear, I've got, you know, a beautiful lens. I've got that 70 to 200, which I tried out and it was just, it was just too big. It was too big for what I needed it for. This is nice and compact and way better suited for what I'm trying to do with it. I don't do very much photography, a lot of videography. So I have my gimbals and stuff. I got to think about balancing it and just the overall weight. And uh, it just didn't really fit what I needed, but I ended up getting $1,100 for that lens alone. So, uh, after about a week and a half, I put everything up on eBay. I, I listed everything the night I bought it, took a couple of hours, and then I just kept monitoring all the sales. And within, uh, within about two weeks, I made uh, $2,900. So I got $400 extra dollars on top of what I paid for it. And I was left with the lens, the light, Heck, even the, even the backpack, I still have the backpack. Um, I don't really like the backpack very much, but somebody will like it. I'll probably end up selling that for like 20 bucks maybe. And uh, you know, somebody will get a good deal on a backpack and I'll just rack up the profits. So that is how I came about the 24 to 70. Now, let's talk about something a little bit special about the, the lens itself and the camera. Cause I was a little bummed out. I was like, you know what? I really like this lens, but I still want that extra little bit of range um, with the 50 to 100. And that's when my brother-in-law let me know that the GH5 actually has a feature where you can do a two times zoom digitally without losing any image quality. So let me just show you that really quick. Okay, so this probably looks really blurry to you. Sorry about that. But I just set it up on one of these and look at that, instantly zoomed in. So I don't even need that extra range. This is amazing. Daniel, thank you so much for the pro tip. You guys should go follow him on YouTube, Daniel Peacock, and I will drop his, his channel in the description. But um, group buys, guys, if you have some, if you, I, I don't know, let's just take skis for instance. I don't know anything about skis, but maybe if you're looking for a specific set of skis or poles or something, and someone's selling a whole group of skis, even though you pay more, you may be able to flip those other op, uh, other you know, uh, other skis or boots or whatever, make your money back plus some, and then you get what you wanted. So just think about that when you're looking around. 
like I said, there's a little bit of luck that's involved. You have to have the deals around you. Um, you also have to do your due diligence. You can't just let them land in your lap. You gotta go out and look for stuff. So you're never gonna find deals if you never look. So take this as encouragement to go look. This is gonna be Side Hustle Saturday with me, Caleb at Black Pearl Media. Sorry there hasn't been much car content on here. My car is currently at the fabricators getting worked on. Um, I'm putting together a rear mount turbo system on my 350Z, so if you're interested in that, please drop a subscription. Um, and if you're inter interested in any videography stuff, I'm gonna be doing a lot more. Um, so please like, comment, subscribe. That would be awesome. And I hope you have a wonderful day.